So we're on quiz 37. We're gonna do the constructions here. I, I did the first part on the last. I had got disconnected because my phone was dying. So we're gonna go on and do construction number two. I kind of started the construction, um, but I'm gonna show you exactly what we did. So basically you're gonna take um, this line here, A1, um, and construct another one that's similar. When I'm at these two, um, you want to basically have this, this quadrilateral um, similar to this one. So it's construct the sim similar polygon to the given polygon with the given sides of A and A1, okay? So the first thing we did is um, we drew a line. And so I drew this line here, this green line, okay? And from that point, you know, um, I, we have just a line, right? Basically just have a line. So from that point, I made sure I want, you need to draw two triangles because you cannot do a construction with uh, just a polygon. You have to have the triangle, so you have the angles. So basically what I did here is, um, as you can see here, I, um, I, I made it, basically made an made a, a arc here and an arc here, right? And then I measured it because all the angles have to be the same size, right? And so I measured this arc like this, like this size, right? Can you see? So I measured it this size. Right there. Measure that arc. Did that arc. Measure that, that size. And then I measured this this size and I put a mark right there. So now I have, now I have this, I have this point. So then we took, basically took this point here and straight edge here and then went up and did another line, okay? So kind of looks similar to that line now because the angles are the same, right? And so to make this triangle on this side then, I um, basically, in, in doing this, because to find out exactly where this line goes, I had to make this point down here. And so to make this point down here, I have to measure the angles, right? So I just did this little arc here, an arc here, right? See how we did the arc right there? And I need an arc on this side. Same size right there. See, I drew the arc. In fact, let's draw the arc all around because we're gonna actually have to do the other side too. So I make a big arc. Whoops, oh shoot. Sorry about that. Okay, so is that the right arc? the right direction here okay okay let's so there we have that arc so we're going to measure we're going to measure so all you have is arc there right so you're going to measure this here see where i measured this angle here so i measured that angle and i put a mark there so you're going to have a mark See where this mark is like this? Right there, this mark. So now with that mark, you can you have a lot, be able to have a line from this point, the end point, to, um, so we got that point and you have that mark. So my line's a little bit different. Okay, so now we have that triangle. Looks about right, doesn't it? So now we got to measure this side of the arc. So let's measure this side of the arc. It's very tiny here. Make your compass smaller. Oh, sorry. About that big. So now we're going to, in doing that, make this one here. Whoops, make sure I don't move. I always move it when I do There we go. All right. So now what are we going to do? Now we have a point here. And, um, you know, as the, the point goes, point's a little bit floppy there, but. Okay, where that point is, where the end is, make sure I'm not going too over too much here. 
we're just going to draw a line. Okay? I don't know if that line is just right here. Let's see. Let's make sure. Kind of went a little bit lopsided there. So. Okay. Anyway, let's draw it in green. Cover up my mess there. Okay, right through that point. This has to go through that point. Okay, there we go. Um, erase that one that I made. So there we got that. So now we need this, this angle. So how are we gonna do that? So we're gonna have to measure. We can either measure this one or we can measure this one. Take this and measure this one. See if we can measure that one. Oh, actually, um, <laughs> we are going to need to, as I put this up as far as it can go, we're going to need to. We measured this angle, but now we're going to measure, have to measure this angle because we have a line here that goes up. I guess you couldn't measure each, either angle. Let's do this one. Hopefully, I got this right. Last time I kind of got this wrong. Okay, so, and let's make sure this is the same. Okay, now let's measure that. Okay, did I measure that right, right there? So now we're gonna measure that right there. Oops, let's make sure I got that right there. Oh, now you go to the room, measure that. <clears throat> and so now we have another point. Let's see how we do this. I measured it. I had a problem with that before. Let's see if the arc is a. Maybe I didn't measure the arc just right. I see. First of all, you draw the arc this way. I want to get it all messed up here. That one. And then we drew the arc, that one. Yep, okay. And then we measure that. It's about that size. It's a little bit smaller than that. Yeah, that was a problem. I had a little bit bigger. That's where it's going, right about there. Kind of erase that first one because that made it kind of messed up okay and so now all we have to do between those points and that angle we're gonna go that point and make sure you go right through that point there so Let's see if i did this one right all right so hopefully that's good so now we have basically have as you measure this angle, measure this angle, measure this angle. And then we could measure this angle too. And that's what I did before, so. These take a while to do, sorry. Could measure this angle too if you want to. And do this angle to make sure this angle, this angle should equal that angle too. So, as you do that, make sure all those angles are fine. And that way, you've actually constructed it similar. If, you're, if your points are right, you know, if you get off a little bit, you're gonna be off. All right, we actually did this lesson, this lesson we did, quiz 39 didn't have any construction, so let's go to your test. Okay, 
This we did the fourth proportional. Remember how we did that before? So let's see if we can remember how to do this. And this is construct the mean proportional. We did that one before, didn't we? And um, okay, let's do these real quick. Let's see if I can do these this time. <laughs> Uh, let's do this mean proportional first down at the bottom, okay? This was pretty easy. It was pretty fun. So first of all, we're going to draw a line. Draw a line. Then we're going to take a compass and measure out again. It takes a long measuring these things out. So here we go, from this point here to this point, we're going to have our okay, from this point to this point, we're going to have S, let's put S there, okay? So um, in the midst of this, we're going to, um, we have to find you know, uh, the, the center point, because basically you're going to have, um, the, you know, we're going to have to draw a circle, because the mean proportion has to do with the circle, and construct, constructing the circle to the, find the mean proportion, so. So basically what we do first, okay, sorry. Go to the end, right here. We're gonna draw, uh, and you know, we're, let me do that smaller because I'll go off the paper. So let's see if I can do it right about here. Let's do it here, and then to this side. See where it's meeting right there? And then we go to the bottom and draw a perpendicular on this side. See where I did that? So now you're gonna draw a line there. The reason we're doing this is because we wanna find the center of that. We wanna find the center of this and this. We're not gonna use anything over here. So we're gonna find the center of all that. So we find the center. And now, from the center, you can take your compass, you know, in the middle of the center, and draw a circle around this thing. It should come right out there, close to there, you know? You could draw a half circle if you want, but there's the circle, okay? So now we wanna do the mean proportional, which is right here. Here's the middle. So we wanna do a perpendicular to here, because whatever this line is, is gonna be the mean proportion. Here's R. And here's S. R is this length, and S is this length. So here we're going to have, let me put that. Here's R, and here's S. All right. So now we want to have a mean proportion that comes from this point. So, <laughs> first of all, to do this, make your, make, I might have to make it a little small so it fits on the circle. So to draw a mean proportion, you don't have to think about much else, but you know, um, go up here and draw another perpendicular. Oops, make sure you put it there. And then um, before you do the perpendicular, just do this side and do this side. So we have two points here to do the perpendicular from. So, so forget about this, this one right now. Kind of, made it kind of messy there, sorry. So, and then, so now you have this, this, this point here, this point and this point. So now from this point, you're gonna go, um, make it bigger so it's big enough here. So you're gonna go from this point up here and from this point, you know, so um, up here. All you want is to, to get a perpendicular line through here. And so, let's do that again so you can, I'm not, sorry, my thing's not working too good. And then you go from this point down here. And then from this point 
down here. Okay, so now we have two points. We have this point, and we have this point, and we have this point. So we have three points. So now for sure we can draw a perpendicular. Okay, this is, so this is going to be the perpendicular. So this is the per per perpendicular. So I just put down, hmm, it says between the segments R and S, here's R and S, and here is the mean. It's going to be this per perpendicular because it, 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 it comes between R and S. You know, S is longer than R, and here it is, and here's the circle. This is the way we found the midpoint, remember? So hopefully, hopefully you did that with me. It takes a process, okay? <laughs> so let's um, construct through A, B, and Z there. Let me go back to that. I lost the area that I was in here. Okay. So here's how you do it. Basically, you're going to have to make a triangle, and it's going to be the double, the double triangle. So what we're going to do first is draw a line. I did this already, so I think I'd be able to do it. Hopefully, you probably can do it better than me. So I'm going to draw a line here. Okay, I have a line. And I'm going to... Um, hmm. In the midst of the line, I'm going to, to um, draw another line, but first of all, I'm going to measure out on this line um, A and B, A to B. Okay, here's A. This is going to be one of the uh, triangles. We'll make sure you label A. There's A. Now let's go to B. So you measure this B. Okay. Now we're going to draw another line. It's going to be proportional with C. So we're going to just draw another line so we can make a triangle. I don't know why my, it's kind of hard to, why isn't that going all down? Here we go. Let's do this. There we go. Okay. Now on this line, we're going to do C. Okay, mark off C. And so this is going to be C. Okay, now a fourth proportional is going to be this one. So it's going to be proportional to B. So A to B, C to D. That's a fourth proportional. Let's write that. A to B equals C to D. You want to know, we're looking for that one. Now we got, we know that this, how are we going to do that? <laughs> so in order to do this, we're going to have to measure out the angles. <laughs> And then it's the angle, so. What we want to do is do a couple parallel lines here, right? Because it's going to be A to B parallel lines that go in here, so. As for C. Oh, before we do this, I left up one spot. Let me draw a line there between A and C. Sorry, I'm measuring my things wrong here. Between A and C is a line, okay? So now what we need to do is to basically 
draw a parallel line here. As soon as we do a parallel line here at the end, we'll be able to find out where D is. So, and to do this, let's um, see, this triangle is gonna be equal to this triangle. So this angle here and this angle have to be equal and this angle have to be equal. So, so we wanna find this angle here. So let's draw a little thing for an angle. Make it small because it's kind of small here. Okay. Angles on parallel lines. You know, basically this uh, angle is going to be that. Now we'll measure out that. Man, that angle doesn't look too good, does it? Okay. So now we're going to measure that angle. There's a lot of measuring here, huh? So there's the angle right there. So you're going to measure this angle right here. So now we have a point there. And so these two points, see where this point meet here, between these two here where we measured? There's a point, and there's a point there. And so we are going to draw between those points. I do this right. I almost had a little crooked there. Okay, there we go. This is all we have to do is basically, you know, um, draw this line, draw this line, measure A, measure B, measure C, and then D, we measure this angle here. And as we measure this angle here, we can find out where it goes up to C. And now we know that this is going to be D. So this is going to be the fourth proportional. See how we did with those, those two um, angles in the midst of this? We have measured this, we have measured this, we have measured this, angle, measure, angle, measure. These angles have to be exact. And then on to, so this one's finished. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do that construction, but let's go on to the proof here real quick. So I wanna go over the proof while we can. So this is, to prove these, these are kind of hard sometimes. So to prove these, um, you can see, let me find out. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna have a given. So what's the given? The given is, um, triangle ABC with altitudes A, D, and C, E. So I put that as a given, right? And so the next thing we're going to do, our next thing here uh, on this here, we have, um, we know that uh, we're going to, we want to put, we want to prove AB um, times C, E equals C, B times A, D. So where is, where is AB? Um, AB is right here. Um, and um, with C, E, C, E here. So we have this and this, and that's gonna be equal to CB, you know, CB times, so this times this is gonna be equal to this, CB times A, let's see, AD, this here. See how this is a perpendicular? So these two are gonna be, this times this is gonna be equal, this times this. So let's put that, so you can see that. This times this, is going to equal this times this. And we have a perpendicular here, so we know that's perpendicular and that's perpendicular. So basically you're looking at this triangle and we're looking at um, this, you know, basically this triangle and that triangle, two similar triangles there. So, so now we have AD, so um, basically we have AD is perpendicular to BC 
and CE is perpendicular to AD, right here. Um, altitudes are perpendicular, right? The altitudes, these are the altitudes of the triangle. And altitudes are always perpendicular. So we know that those are perpendicular. That's why I put those perpendicular marks there. So the next one says um, angle CEB, angle CEB, um, and angle ADB. So ADB, you know, are right angles, okay? We know they're right angles. I put that there. They're perpendicular, per per perpendicular lines make right angles. That's what I said there, perpendicular lines. Number three, perpendicular lines make right angles. So now we know that they're right angles, so we know angle um, ADB. So ADB is going to equal um, angle CEB. Why? Because they're both right angles. Right angles equal. This is just this is common sense up to this end. So right angles are equal. So perpendicular lines make right angles, and right angles are equal, number four. And then we have angle B equals angle B, of course. Here's the angle B. It's a self. We want to know because now we have these triangles. So we're trying to prove that they that they're, um, they multiply by each other. So we basically have angle B equal angle B, which is identity. Basically identity. This goes with the right angles. This is identity. Okay? We have identity. That's number five. And the next we have AB. AB. Where is AB? Here's AB, this long line, this line here, AB, um, times CE, CE equals um, CB, CB times AD. So we, ha we have that. Why do we have that? Because um, corresponding, basically the corresponding similar, they're basically correspondingly um, similar. So it's, you have, oh, before that, I'm sorry. Um, Let's go over here, number five. But before we get to that, we have we have to put um, angle ADB or triangle AADB triangle ADB. This triangle is similar to CEB. CEB. We have those similar because angle angle. We have two angles. They're um, similar. Now we have the corresponding um, sides that are um, proportional, right? And so we put CSSS, that means corresponding sides are proportional, right? And so basically we're going to AB to CB, AB, where's AB? To, um, to C, C, CE, CE, this is kind of a complicated one. CE here, AB to CE are purport, um, proportional to each other. And so then we have AB times CE equals CB times AD because product of means and product of the streams. So we have these two, since they're proportional, we can go product of the means, AB times CE is going to be CB times um, um, AD. It's A, AD, okay? Product of means equal product of extremes. So I hope you get that, right? Okay, so this here, basically you're going through here, you're proving that these two triangles are, are um, uh, with the AA, that they are an angle and angle with two angles and that they are, they are um, similar. And then you have the corresponding um, sides that are proportional. And so you put those corresponding sides proportion in a proportion and then cross multiply them and then you can prove that. Prove that. Okay? So hopefully you can do that as, you know, you have to look at the two triangles and see how they are. So let's do this last one up here. See if I can do this. It says on line M, Find by construction the point that is equidistance between C and D. So, um, okay, let's go ahead. Here's the line between C and D. Okay. So, um, in the midst of that, we wanna draw a perpendicular, you know, so to that line. So let's do our compass. between C and D. I kind of drew D too long there. But let's do that. <laughs> they have to meet. So there's one. Okay, let's do the other one up here. 
perpendicular. Oops. Okay, there we have that. So let's draw another line. It says on M, find by describe the point that is equal distance between point and um, C. So where does it come here? <clears throat> right here. On M, that's where it comes through. And what do we want to label it? Find by the construction of the point that's equal distance between C. Here's the point. So let's just put it at P as point. It didn't say what to do. Basically, you're drawing a perpendicular line that comes all the way down here. Now from C and D, this point is equal distance. So. Hope you hope you can see all that. Okay, that's it. We're done.